up y'all welcome back to my channel today i have a another wig unboxing or wig opening for you guys um i had this wig over a month now and it's just been like sitting here in my room um so that's what I'm going to be doing for you guys today. So if you're interested in seeing what wig I have, then stay tuned. Okay, y'all. So I had this wig for almost a month now, I believe. And yeah, let's see. I ordered this wig February 1st, 2019. And it is now March the third i believe yeah i had this wig for a month it's just been sitting here and i haven't gotten to it and yeah that's what we're gonna do today um if you're interested in seeing this wig unboxing or what this wig is that i have on my head i will be sure to link that video in the description bar below but yeah all right today the wig we are going to be unboxing is from the janet collection it is the gabriella wig um the extended part lace base deep part wig 100 percent premium fiber and this is what it looks like here hope you can see that and I have this in the color OET1B30. <clears throat> and I had this wig for a month, y'all. So this is the color OET1B30. And it's like um, an ombre, 1B at the top. And then it has the golden brown here at the bottom. And I also have a, another video on a wig that I purchased like this um, some months ago. And I got it in the color 1B. I will also leave that video in the description bar below. Let's take all of this packaging off and let's get right to it. So here is the stock card. Hold on, let me cut this off for y'all. So y'all can see this. And this does have a body wave curl to it so <clears throat> if y'all all familiar out there with the Gabriella wig by Janet Collection it is a body wave wig and this is the stock card and yeah I have it in the color OET 1B30 it has Swiss lace and a and a extremely deep part. Um, and the color that's shown here on the stock card is golden bronze. And uh, yeah, this is not a lace wig. It just have a lace part. Um, but you can do to the wig what you do to a lace wig. Same thing. Don't matter. But yeah, this is the color, y'all. Ooh, check the color out. Check the color out. Check the color out. The color is so pretty. Let me take her out. Let me take her out of this box. Okay. And as always, the hair comes wrapped in a net. So let's take that off. And then it has the paper on the inside, which is irrelevant. But y'all, check out this color. Check out this color. This is the color 30. So this is like the um, bronze, like the golden bronze or like the golden blonde. Um, that's what this color reminds me of. And then it has the dark roots. <laughs> Yeah, but here is the parting, you guys, which I love. My other Gabriella wig that I purchased, um, the parting is amazing. This wig does come with baby hairs. Well, at least my other wig did. Um, yeah, let me show y'all these. They do have the baby hairs. Whoop. 
they do have the baby hairs in the front for whoever would like to put baby hairs in the wig. It's not a lace front wig, but you can treat it as such. Um, um, you can't like glue, well I haven't tried it, but in my preference I wouldn't glue it down. I would just tie the straps or make the straps tighter for it to fit perfect on your head. Um, but y'all check out this color though. Check out that body wave. Check out that bounce. Check it out. This color is bomb, y'all. And I said in my first video when I purchased the 1B, I said I was going to go back and get color. And I said I was going to get the, um, what color was that? I said I was going to get the violet blue, I think it was. But I didn't get that one because they were sold out so i got this one um but when they do stock the violet blue back i am going to get that one but yeah it has the dark roots at the top and it blends very good with this golden bronze with this 30 honey like look at that 30. who do you think you is who you think you is 30. who you think you is you cute though but this is cute y'all um but yeah, I don't think I'm going to pluck the part. I might open it up just a little bit. Um, but y'all know me. I ain't no guru with the plucking because I put a hole in this one. But it's all right. It still look cute. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to put this baby on. I'm not going to put my fingers through it because I don't want to um, do that right now with this. But yeah, I'm going to take this wig off right here and then I'm going to put this one on okay okay y'all i totally forgot to show y'all the cap construction like i was just so excited about this color let's get into this cap okay it has two combs right here in the front and it has the parting space which is about five inches i believe right here and this is lace parting and then they have the <clears throat> breathable cap back here and it does come with a comb in the back and with the gender collection tag and adjustable straps it does come with like little baby hairs if you want to put it in a ponytail like janet like y'all slayed this gabriella okay i am in love with this gabriella wig y'all like the one b i had that one for about three or four months now and this is a hundred percent um um a hundred percent premium fiber hair it is a synthetic wig y'all but this gabriella wig when janet made this wig she won't play honey but what i do you guys too is i cut out the comb in the back because i don't I don't normally use the comb in the back only because I tie the um, adjustable straps together and then the wig fits snug on my head. So I don't really use the back comb. So I cut it out. So I'm just going to cut the comb out, you guys. Cut that out. Here we go. I took the comb out in the back and yeah. But this is what I do to make the wig fit snug on my head um, when it just has a lace part, just so I won't have to get the um, got to be free spray and all that stuff to actually glue it down. Um, and on a normal day, I will most likely like give me some baby hairs with my regular hair and yeah, wear the wig as such. But I cut the comb out because the comb, it does get in the way when you um, do the straps the way that I do but since it just has a lace parting what I do with the straps to make it fit snug on my head is I take a strap from one side and I bring it over to the opposite side over here across from the tag and I just put it in a slot right there and then I take the other strap and I do the same just take it to the other side and put it in the first slot and 
there we go that's how i get my wig to fit snug let's put this wig on Okay, y'all, so here is the wig, and I told y'all that it did come with baby hair, so that is what that is right there. Um, let me fix this hair, like, what are you doing, Zola? Like, what are you doing? So here is some of the baby hairs that came with the wig. I think the other ones are like under the cap, but they don't really matter. Um, cause I told y'all before, I'm not a baby hair fanatic. I don't really care for baby hair, but yeah. But look at this color though. Look at this color though. And I noticed too, like with this hair, it's not like my, um, 1B one that I purchased. This one does have like more of a thin texture. I don't know if it because, is it? because of a color is in it or what but my 1b was more fuller i think um because this one like i'm touching right here and i can feel my um my stocking cap underneath so i don't know maybe it's just because it has the color in it but i'm not going to manipulate the curls what i am going to do is I am going to pluck some of the part and then I'm going to lay my baby hairs and then, yeah, I'll be back.
right guys so <clears throat> i am back and as you can see i plucked my lace too much so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a black sharpie and i'm going to fill in where i pluck too much but this is the hair and i've been like rubbing my hands through it like this um trying to make it as big as possible because this hair is thinner than my 1B um, unit that I purchased just like this. Um, and y'all don't mind that part because I jacked it up. You hear me? I jacked it up. <laughs> I tow it up. Like it's not even, it's not even cute how bad I tow it up. But anyway, that's why I don't pluck. I don't even really care to pluck, but I just did to try. But I am going to finger this like this, just so it can get bigger because I like big her. And I kind of not lie. And yeah, I don't know what I was doing with this baby hair up here, y'all. But I attempted it. Let's put this behind my ear. Let's see how that looks. Let's do this like that. And then let's pull this like this. Let's do this like this. Ooh, hold on y'all. Let's do this like that and then put it up like that. Let's see. I'm gonna have to fix that baby hair cause that is bothering me. Literally bothering me. And I feel like I took forever to try and straighten this wig or get it to how I like it. But overall, I feel like I messed it up. Like, I just feel like I towed it back. And it's no coming back from that. That's how I feel. I feel like I done towed it back and it's nothing else I can do. But yeah, I'm going to try and finesse this as good as possible. But I am loving this color. This color is bomb. Like, look at that. But yeah, I think I'm going to put some more powder in my part. Um, just to make it more realistic. And I am going to go in, like I said, with the Sharpie and clean it up just a little bit. You know what, let me go get my sharper from my mom and then I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so your girl is back. I used my mom's um, permanent marker her black Sharpie to clean up that part because I plucked it too. And yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, yeah, the part still doesn't look as good, but it looks better than what it did, cause honey. But let me scoop back for y'all and show y'all. This is what the hair looks all uh, to the front like this and I am loving this color honey like I'm definitely loving this color like this color is this is what the hair looks like in the front and this wig is 18 inches long you guys 18 inches long this is what the hair looks like to the back Let me show y'all the side. Yeah, y'all, this hair is uh, um I do recommend this hair. This this wig does come with two combs in the front near the parting space, one comb in the back with adjustable straps. And yeah, like 
and it's big head friendly and it does come with a breathable cap um and this is a deep part a swiss lace part um and it is in the color oet1b30 and the style gabriella from jenny collection and yeah the other available colors they have one one b two fs1b30 and the fs1b30 is the one b is one b every all over and then it has like the um like streaks of 30. This is the OET 1B30. They have OET 1B27. They have OET 1B Burgundy, Mocha Blonde, Choco Blonde, Violet Blue, and Golden Bronze. And I am going to order this wig again, and I am going to get it in the Violet Blue. I'm thinking about getting it in the 1B Burgundy because I love burgundy hair now. <laughs> like, this is really cute. I do recommend this hair. Um, but yeah. So y'all, this is the ending of my video. Make sure that you give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting on? Please hit that subscribe button and that bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And yeah, until the next one, y'all already know what it is. I will see y'all again. All right, peace.